Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing something that has been highly requested by a lot of you for the past few months since I spoke it into existence of what I was planning on filming. And you guys have been asking for it. And the reason I took such a delay is because I was waiting for one more thing to come in that I wanted to show in this video. And I finally have said piece. I'm very satisfied with it, taking the time to wear it a lot. And today I'm going to be sharing with you comfy bras for big boobs. And let me just say, <laughs> because of the commentary on my last video that I did in regards to boobs, bras, the whole thing, I know that I will be getting some commentary from some horny fellows on the internet. But I would just like to kind of say as a disclaimer at the beginning of this that this isn't intended for you. Um, you know, feel free to watch and give me that AdSense coin, I guess, but um, you know, kind of dial it back when it comes to the commentary on my chest, okay? That's all I ask. There are thousands of websites you could go to to see full boob, and I will not be showing full boob in this, so I'm just gonna kind of say it there. But I'm just going to be kind of reviewing, kind of sharing my thoughts on, and sharing the look of four bras that I wear pretty consistently nowadays. So let's freaking get into it, all right? Let's start with my number one, okay? This is something that I've worn incessantly <laughs> in past videos ever since I got it. This bra is a little ivory bralette from Hara the Label, and it has spaghetti straps and a spaghetti strap kind of elastic line across the back. And I know that some of you watching this with big boobs are gonna be like, oh my God, you wear spaghetti straps with those things? <laughs> How are they supported? But let me tell you, this is such a well-made bralette. I think it's made from some kind of bamboo fibers or something. It's from a sustainable and ethical company, Hara the Label, and I love their stuff. I wear this pretty much every day. I got the white color so I can pretty much wear it with everything because the color isn't too prominent, but I do love some colorful bralettes here and there. But this one is seriously as good good as people make it sound, as I'm probably making it sound. Um, I will show you the fit of all of these bras, obviously, while I'm talking about them. But I find that the spaghetti straps actually do support everything and hold the girls in and down well enough. And I also love how it's just kind of like a full band across the chest. And it just kind of has like some nice coverage while also giving you a little, a little sneaky bit of cleave. I don't love too much overwhelming cleavage because it can get too you know, two up in people's faces. So I love to kind of cover the girls up every now and again, but then again, I do love a good push up. So this gives me like a nice little sneaky bit of cleavage while also being like mild coverage. You know what I mean? It's not full coverage, but it's mild and it's great. <laughs> so this is definitely my number one. Um, as for size reference, I got a large and my chest is about a double D, a 32 double D in this. Oh honey, I wear her every day. Well, not today, because I'm going braless, but you know, I love a good bralette that makes me feel as if I am going braless. And that's why I'm making this video, because I know that in my past video, my viral video on this channel, where I talked about why I do go braless, um, that was at a time in my life where I was kind of like, no to all bras. <laughs> but now I've found a handful of bras that actually give me, you know, a milder amount of support while not being too, like a cage, you know, for the ladies. We gotta set them free every now and again. I still go braless, but a lot of the time I do need a little something something, so I'm not just doing full boobs, swaying all around. <laughs> you get it, I'm sure. If you're watching this for some recommendations on bras, you get it. <laughs> And now this next bra I'm going to show you is from also an ethical company made honestly in NYC, baby, in the US. The Hara bra that I just showed is from Australia, and then another company I'm going to be sharing is also from Australia. So Australia really has a down pat when it comes to sustainable undies, um, but so does my fave company, Jonesy. And I've talked about Jonesy before, shared their panties with you guys before, because I love their underwear. The cut of them is so cute, and the fabric, and just everything. It's so comfortable. But I ordered this bralette from them, right, in the color Wisteria, which is actually one of my favorite spring plants, so shout out to Wisteria. It's this beautiful lilac color, and I got this in an extra large, um, but on the website when you order something like this, I think they do like A to B to C cup 
ratios sizing wise. So I did like the D slash double D size and then they sent me the extra large of it. So this one is another one that has Miss Spaghetti Strap, but these are adjustable which is great, you know? Sometimes you just need to hike them up a little bit. And this one, I would say, is more of a full coverage bra. It doesn't give me any cleavage. It just kind of goes as if a tank top would, like over the boobs, no cleave, but still gives you a, a good amount of support. And I like it because, I was talking about this in a vlog when I first got this bra, but it kind of gives you like the definition of your actual natural boob, you know? It's not like jamming the girls together and pushing them up or anything. It's just like a nice, barely there coverage holding them in holding them down number you know so that's what I really love about this one is it's very it's weightless you know you can barely even notice it's there with all of these you can barely notice it's there but this one mainly especially when you wear it underneath something it's like is she braless I can't tell so that's what I like about this one. It's It feels like you are. <laughs> and I think actually Jonesy is releasing some thicker strapped bras. I think maybe they already did. I haven't ordered one. I only have one of their older looking styles, but I still love this one. I'm sure that their thicker looking bralette as well is very supportive and great. And my favorite thing about these companies that I'm sharing right now is they're very size inclusive. So they keep plus size people in mind when they are, you know, advertising these, showing them on their websites in on different body types which I love I think is great so if you're worried about you know having a larger frame and not knowing if like something with a spaghetti strap is gonna be cutting into you or something like that all of the photos and stuff address different body types on their websites and across their social media all three of these bralette companies social media I will put on the screen because they do some some great work on the old Instagram as well <laughs> in showing off all of these on different sized models and speaking of different sized models this one is actually I think kind of made for plus-sized women and I found this through Frances Cannon who I've shared her artwork with you guys before in a previous video I love her illustrations I think she's so talented and she released a collab bra with this company Le Buns and she's Australian based and so she did it with an Australian company and it basically just has this kind of self-love pattern all over it I'll put it up here so you can see, but it's just like a bunch of naked bodies in different forms and poses and little hearts that say me in them and little flowers. And I just found it so freaking cute when I saw her wearing it. I'll put a photo of Frances wearing it right here, but she completely sold me on the bra. When I saw it, I was like, holy shit, I need it, okay? And oh boy, did this take a hot minute to get to me from Australia. But ever since I have had this in my life, I have been freaking loving her, okay? It's also an Ivory, so it goes well with a lot of different colored things. You know, you can really barely notice it's there. The only thing that you do kind of notice is these little fake buttons. They don't actually unbutton and you can't like, you know, release the boobs from underneath because it's stitched. But I think they're just there for style. I could do without them, but it's fine. It's fine. Other than that, freaking love it. It's this beautiful kind of mauve color band. Okay, one thing that I fully forgot to mention when I was talking about this Le Bon's bra is that this one gives way more cleavage than any of the other ones do. It's kind of a push up and push together type situation. So if you want something that still is giving you a lift and still giving you a little bit of cleavage, a nice dipping low bra, then this one is the one to go for, okay? <laughs> And I love the thicker straps. I find that this is very, very supportive in regards to it being kind of a more sports bra-ish style strap, which is what I was talking about with Jonesy. I think they released a new kind of version of the bra with more sports bra-like straps instead of these ones. So if you're looking for more like support in the strap realm, I would suggest going with something like this. They're super, super size inclusive. I think they have more size options than these other two companies I just shared, which both go up to extra large. I'm pretty sure, but even further past that, this definitely um, adheres to those sizes, which is great. I got this Le Buns bra in a size 12, and I find that with a lot of people with big boobs, it's because they're plus sized as well. So it's like, of course, they should have a variety of size options, fellows. Inclusivity is key. So I really, really appreciate this company for that. And yeah, I just love this look. I think it's wonderful and very, very cute. Um, so that's my third one. Those three companies that I just shared, I know for sure are all ethical 
sustainable and sustainable. But this next company I am not so sure about, but I'm sharing it because I did a brand deal with this company sometime last year and I got this sent to me and I still wear it to this day because it is so freaking comfy. And yeah, so this company, I don't really know too much about their, their ethics, you know, when it comes into producing things, which I would love to be more sure about. So if you know, you can comment it down below, but I just wanted to share this one as my fourth option. This one is just kind of a cheaper option, but still does the job, um, just in a different realm, you know? And this is from Adorme, and it's this beautiful kind of green, forest green color. This is like my favorite color to wear nowadays. And it has this beautiful little pink ribbon down um, underneath the boobs. And I just love this for its racer back kind of style back here. Um, I find that when I wear this, it's not like too, you know how lace can sometimes hurt you or cause like an imprint on your neck or something from the amount of work it's doing to hold your girls in. I don't find that it does that to me when I wear this and it's very, very comfortable, very airy, a super light lace material and I love it. I love wearing this. I also think it's so cute to wear like peeking out of an off the shoulder top or something and this Adore Me bra is in a size large and I used to actually wear a lot of bras from free people that were lace and had the like halter around them and then you would just kind of clasp it in the back and I think I actually talked about those in my braless video saying like okay most of the time I do go braless but when I do need a bra I wear these and you know forget what I said about those <laughs> because they actually do hurt your neck a little bit. And all of these bras do not pain me to wear. And so I have changed my mind when it comes to my fave lacy bra. It is definitely this one. And I wear her frequently. So wanted to share this with you. So my dudes, I hope this helped you out. Um, I know that it can be harder than expected to find a bra that actually fits. So I hope I assisted you in kind of giving you a size reference, a style to maybe go for when it comes to straps and racer back things. And I don't know, just hope it helped. If it did and you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you would like to be notified when I upload. And until the next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys.